got it at the Goodwill bins for $5 and sold it for $630 on Poshmark. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, in this video, we are gonna talk about big money bolos, items to be on the lookout for, items you can hopefully buy low and sell for a profit. I'm gonna tell you where they got it, what they paid for it, and what it sold for. This is my Facebook group, and this is what I posted in the group. Share your best September bolo. So let's get started. Let's dig in and see these big money bolos. And hopefully you can find some of these items. So down in the comments, let me know if anything you see in this video, if you've sold it before. And if so, what'd you pay for it? And what did you sell it for? Received this Italian wine decanter from my father's, my father-in-law's estate, free to me. It has been listed about six months and finally sold at full ask. Positive feedback received. And this one comes from Bolo Buddies member, Perry Winkle and Paisley. And this is her eBay store. It is an Empoli Italian ornate fruit basket wine decanter genie bottle with a stopper. And it's got the stopper. Now, I know in one video, somebody sold a decanter and what they did was they parted it parted it. That's a hard word to say. They took it apart. They sold it in two pieces. They parted it out. I can't say it. Um, and they sold the, the stopper and the decanter separately. So there were some mixed feelings about that in the chat, but she sold hers as a set. This one comes from Bolo Buddies member, The Money Worth on YouTube, eBay, Instagram, and whatnot, and also on Facebook. So you can find them everywhere under The Money Worth. I was given this used textbook and decided to look it up to see if it was worth listing on eBay. There, wa there wasn't many solds, but did notice the local college was still using it. I accepted a best offer of $69.99. Not too bad for a free item. Developing person through lifespan, I think is what it says, the developing person. So it's a college book. And if you are a Bolo Buddies member, you get a pop-up and a link down in the description of the video. That is your perk for being a Bolo Buddies member. There's more information down below about that. No pressure. Everybody can post in this um, video. Bought at a garage sale for $6.99, sold within four months for $50. It is a Jimmy 1997 Douglas fir talking tree. And yes, this is in the original box. These are definitely a fun little bolo. Usually they like dance or sing. Jimmy is a great brand to pick up. It's G-E-M-M-Y. So uh, if you see that brand, look it up. I accepted a best offer of 300 sold in one day. I don't know what they paid for it and I don't know where they got it, but I'm going to show it to you because it sold for $300 and I kind of want to know. It is a Paps Blue Ribbon Vintage Wooden Sign Spanish. Hard to find. So it's in Spanish. Now here is another one. It says cost of goods, zero. They were sold to the same person. I ended up finding another case of 75 pieces. So they bought that too. Sold for $318 total. Single pull, pull chain switch. Case of 100. Hmm. It's a pull chain for something. A light? I don't think it goes to a light. I don't know what it goes to, but it has like a, a number. So a reference number. So anybody that's looking for this item can put that number in and find her listing. She said, accepted best offer of 106 times three. So a total of $318. This one comes from Bolo Buddies member, YouTube channel, Vintage Spice. And she is also over on Whatnot Now. She said, um, I got this at an online auction. If I divide it all out, I probably have $5 into it. I took a best offer of $147. It's an original Marks Ben-Hur playset, Chariot, 1950s, 60s with four black horses. And this is what it looks like. Here's another one from Vintage Spice. I got this on Facebook Marketplace. If I divide it all out, I probably have $2 into this item. I took a best offer of 60 because I knew I priced the item high. It is a vintage Mattel jewelry, little Kittles flower locket bracelet with doll 
blonde, 3747. This is what it looks like. This one comes from AEG's Estate Treasures on eBay, and this is her eBay store. Hello, Courtney. I purchased this wooden and metal sign at a yard sale for $4. I wasn't familiar with this type of sign, and since it was very heavy, I decided to take a chance on it. I took a best offer of $64 plus shipping. I really need to stop sourcing and get more reseller listings done. Thanks, Courtney, and all of the Bolo Buddies for the knowledge you bring to this group. It's an antique bistro sign, real wood and metal. And this is what it looks like. And what she's doing is she's putting together reseller lots. So I will link her eBay store down below. Um, she had some really good ones with free shipping. Uh, I don't know how many are left, but definitely check her out in the description. All right. This one says, these were on the shelf at a Goodwill for a while. I passed by thinking someone had marked on some glasses after they bought them. Something told me to look them up. Turns out the person who marked on them was an artist. <laughs> and they are Costa Boda Sweden. Paid for and sold for 110 plus shipping. Lesson learned. Oh my goodness, that's hilarious. It looks like uh, maybe they have hearts on them. Yeah, Costa Boda Heart Champagne Flutes. That is awesome. What a great story. Hey, Courtney, this sold in less than 24 hours. Hmm. Did I check comps and Terapeak? Happy with price and sale, but you always wonder when it moves that fast if you miss something. It is Cloud Island with tags, Alligator Lovey Lovey. Cost $3, sold for $30. 10 times cost is good all day. And it is Carter's Just One You New Green Fleece Alligator Lovey. And this is what it looks like. Yes, always check those loveys. Some of them go for crazy money. And another thing, even if you search comps on the loveys, this is, and they aren't super high, what you should definitely do if you are the only one listed, list it high. Loveys are one thing that people look for. Now, if there's 100 listed or 20 listed, okay, you got to be competitive. If you're the only one listed, auction it at a high starting price. And if it doesn't sell, put it on buy it now at a high starting price. If you are the only one out there, they have no other choice. And if they need or want that item, they're going to buy it from you. All right, this one is a combo. So I bought a box from Donatella on Whatnot. Please go check her out over on Whatnot. She said, so this is from Basket Case Mama Fab Finds. And she bought this from Donatella on Whatnot. So she said, had a little bag of these round balls that open into robots like Transformers. There were like five in there. A little research, I discovered they are Bakugan battle brawlers and a couple were Happy Meal toys. And in lots with storage box, they were going for $40 to $200. Single ones, specialty ones were way up there too. So next day, I'm at a local Goodwill and see a new cart, a, a new cart, a red plastic storage box with Bakugan on it, and it's full of little ball robots for $5.99. I put it on auction at $55 and sold it for $55. There were a couple broken ones, but the guy was delighted, very collectible, new bolo to me. So it looks like she got some of them from Donatella and some of them from the Goodwill. And yes, some of them do very, very well. And how you open them, there is a magnet on the bottom. So a lot of times people will try to pull them and open them like that. Don't do that because that will break them. Get a magnet, stick it on the bottom, and they pop open. So they go to a game, and I have sold a lot of these. They are definitely something that I look for, but a lot of times at garage sales, people have them priced high. So um, they're hard to find cheap. So if you can find them cheap, definitely uh, pick them up. But she's right. Some of them go for more than others. They are, they're vintage ones. And if I remember correctly, the vintage ones are smaller in size than the ones that are newer and currently being sold. So keep that in mind when you're, look, when you're looking for them. Hi, Courtney. Recently sold this charcoal gray Tupperware carousel Lazy Susan spice rack internationally for full asking price of $150. Found at a yard sale for two. All, as always, thank you for all you do. Oh my goodness. 
16 containers? How big are these? That I guess it's a spice. They're just for spices, so probably not that big. Spinning Lazy Susan, that is cool. Two bucks at a yard sale, wow. Oh, look at this. Found two scream face go. Or I'm sorry, scream. Found two scream ghost face masks at a garage sale, along with other vintage Halloween costumes. Paid a dollar each. After a week of research and watching videos on how to identify scream mask, I found a. I'm sorry. I found I had a generation one and a gen two listed the gen one at auction and sold for my starting price of $1,200. Yes, it sold for $1,200. Listed the gen two and sold it in six hours for full asking price of $399. Wow. That's fantastic. Bought at a local flea market for $5. Sold for $125. I had no idea when I bought it, the value, until I got home and looked up comps. Buyer did not ask for a lower price. I got a message from buyer asking, why not possible to ship to France? Beginning of August, I was unable to print international shipping labels. After talking to eBay, was told it was a problem with switching service and didn't know how, when it would be fixed, so I turned off international sales. I had previously lost a sale to Chile over this. I explained to the buyer why, and I told her I would turn it back on and told her to try again, and she purchased immediately. She told me it, as for her, it was for her little girl, and she loved Ultra Beast, and they were very difficult to find. It is still in transit, and estimated delivery September 21st. Tutter was a March sale. Do you want it also? Thank you for reaching out. I am new to this, but love your channel. I'm not sure what Tutter means. Maybe it's another one of these plush. Pokemon Center. I do not know how to say this Pokemon name. N-I-H-I-L. I can almost not read it. E-G-O, Ultra Beast plush toy resembles a jellyfish from 2018. And that's what it looks like. I'm so excited by my first bolo. I just started reselling in June. Got this 90s Marlboro Unlimited Lizard t-shirt at the local Goodwill. I'm sorry, at our local thrift store for $2. It would have been cheaper the following week at their $5 bag sale. I didn't know what to price it at as there are quite a few which run the gamut of condition and price, but I settled on $75.99 and sold within 20 hours. Got um, asking price. So it's a vintage lizard Marlboro Unlimited pocket t-shirt size extra large, and this is what it looks like. All right, there you have it. A Marlboro vintage t-shirt. Hey there, another bolo. I picked up this Isis, or I'm sorry, Iris Klops Monster High Doll in its mangled up box that had dirt all over it, <laughs> but everything inside was really clean. It was at a man cave yard sale and the guy wasn't sure how it got there. I got it for a dollar and sold it for $112. Monster High Iris Klops Fashion Doll doesn't matter if the box is a mess. People want the doll. Now, there are collectors that want it in the box. I'm not going to lie. But some of them, they don't want that box. You still can make some money. I got this. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Gru Gurka? G-H-U-R-K-A. How do you say that, guys? G-H-U-R-K-A. Gruka? Rolling duffel bag at the Goodwill for $5. The Goodwill bins, that is, where you pay by pound. Had it listed for $800 and took a best offer of $630 on Poshmark. Got it at the Goodwill bins for $5 and sold it for $630 on Poshmark. What? Never seen it, never heard of it. Look at that logo. Remember it, guys, remember it. 
this is why I do this because so many things that I have never seen before, and I'm sure you haven't as well. Purchased at an estate sale on the last day for $4. These are Melamine Children's Plates from Pottery Barn. Anything Pottery Barn, Pottery Barn Kids, look it up. Some of it does really well. There's a lot of retired items out there that people search for. They were listed at the end of July and sold in seven weeks for 96 plus shipping. They are from 2010 and these reindeer dishes seem to be highly sought after. Pottery Barn Kids All Nine Reindeer Melamine Dinner Plates, 11 inch, $96. And that is what it looks like. We're going to do one more here. This was a March sale, but I'm going to send it. It was on my post with Pokemon Jellyfish. Oh, I think this is the one she was talking about earlier. I bought a garbage bag full of plush at a local yard sale for $5, and this cute little fellow was in the bag. I did some research and saw high sales numbers listed for $98 and sold within three days. Feedback received. She said her son wanted it for his birthday for nostalgic reasons. The, uh, the bag was full of vintage plush. I will take your advice and list the rest on Mercari. So my advice would be, if you can't find any on eBay, I would auction them on eBay first. That would be my first advice. If it's a hard to find item, try an auction on eBay and start it high. If it does not sell, then I would post, I would cross post it. That's what I would do. I start on eBay and then I cross post to Mercari and Poshmark. I use List Perfectly. Love it, been using it since 2019. I have a video down in the description. It's a demo video. It will tell you how List Perfectly works. Um, it's awesome. It's awesome. And it's so easy and it's so much quicker than manually cross posting. So check out that video. If it's something that looks like you could use, <clears throat> excuse me, if it's something that it looks like you would use for your business and you would benefit from it, definitely check it out. You can use coupon referral code Bolo Buddies, all one word. Uh, to get 30% off your first month. So there are different plans and I have a video on my Sourcing with Bolo Buddies channel that talks about the different plans as well. But check out the tutorial first, see if it's a good fit for you. And if it is, I highly recommend it. I absolutely love it. So um, I think we're gonna stop here, but let us let me tell you what this item is because I didn't do that. This is what it looks like. It is a Tuttle Mouse plush toy stuffed animal bear in the big blue house, Jim Henson. Yes, and I just talked about um, this guy in a recent video that I did on Nickelodeon brand bolos, and somebody informed me that this was not a Nickelodeon item. I'm like, whoopsie. Uh, so what I typed in, my search was Nickelodeon, and this pulled up. So I assumed that it was Nickelodeon. I didn't do any research, but uh, either way, it was still a big money bolo. It's just maybe in the wrong video. But Bear in the Big Blue House, look anything up that you find that is Bear in the Big Blue House. All right, you guys, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Go check out everybody that I mentioned in this video. They will be linked down below, their YouTube channels if they have one, and their eBay stores. They are Bolo Finders, and you can learn so much from them. All right, you guys, thanks for watching.